And back with Marty Biron now. Uh, Marty, the MVP race is going to go down to the wire, it seems. Nathan McKinnon is the favorite ahead of Nikita Kucherov. Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, they're in there. Kucherov has 15 points in his last four games. Is he being undervalued in this race? Absolutely is being undervalued. Look, he's five points up on McKinnon for the Artros, but we're not talking about the Artros here. We're talking about the Hart, the MVP. And when you consider the most valuable player to a team, I get that Nathan McKinnon is doing a lot of good things in Colorado, but Nico Rantanen is only 24 points behind Nathan McKinnon in within the Colorado Avalanche. Look at the Tampa Bay Lightning. Nikita Kucherov is 44 points up on Braden Point. 44. That's just an unreal number. When Taylor Hall won the MVP in 2018, he was 40 points better than Nico Ischier, who was second on the New Jersey Devils at the time. Everybody kept thinking, that's never been done. Being that far ahead and putting the team on your back, that's what Nikita Kucherov is doing right now with the Tampa Bay Lightning. I actually have Kucherov as my, as my leader right now. I have Kucherov one, McKinnon two, McDavid three, and Matthews four. It's no disrespect to McKinnon and McDavid, who's coming on strong as well of late, but Kucherov is having such an impact at five on five and on the power play. And when he's not on the ice, the Tampa Bay Lightning are not the same team. They don't produce as much, and it's all been on the back of Nikita Kucherov. So, yeah, it's great value right now, knowing that you're getting the plus number for Nikita Kucherov in the Hart Trophy conversation. Well, of the four players with a realistic shot at winning the Hart Trophy, Nathan McKinnon is the only player without one. He's finished second, second, third, and fifth, and sixth in the voting, but has never come out on top. Maybe this time. He's currently minus 175 on FanDuel. Our NHL analyst, Martin Biron.